all right everybody welcome back to the farmstead this is the morning after we had uh i don't know what kind of weather that actually was i, I, I the only thing i could think that it might be called is a microburst we were me and my son were at the fire right over there it started to rain and then it started to rain real heavy all within two minutes or so uh, I rushed my son to the truck and I've never seen anything like this before but everything just went sideways all the trees everything like every, you know the bushes everything was sideways and I was in the truck and I looked over and it was the weirdest looking thing because everything was on its side oh would you look at that right on film um, that tree is about to fall. I've never seen anything like what had happened last night. I've seen a lot of stuff. I've never seen anything like that. Literally, and I'm not joking, and this is not a, uh, this is not me just like making things up. The trees the bushes everything was on its side in a second that's how hard the wind was blowing give me a second i'm going to move my truck before this tree falls on it okay well anyway i assume that's going to fall down at some point today i hope it falls by itself and we're not stuck with trying to figure out how to get it down a pretty big tree anyway what happened last night was I mean seriously guys all of these trees went to their sides in, an, in a second I've never seen anything like that it was amazing I, I was at a loss for words it was just crazy it took a minute for it all to sink in this tree right here was thrown onto those power lines and it arced like stuff that I've never quite seen before either. The, I have the video that I took from the, the driveway. It was a quarter mile down the road and the night sky and everything was lit up. To be perfectly honest, I expected them guys. It's seven o'clock right now in the morning. I got here about a half an hour ago and I expected those guys to still be here working on this. It still looks like one piece. So I don't know how they managed to save this wire or if they restrung it. After what I was seeing in last night, I have no idea how any of that wire was salvageable. But either way, you can see this is where it was cooking. Somewhere, I would say right, right along here is right where that was leaning on the power lines. Again, this is no exaggeration. I have never seen every tree and bush go sideways in an instant. It looks as if they did some work. That's uh, pieces of the cable from up there somewhere. Maybe they did replace some stuff. All right, not quite sure where we left off. I had a visit and a couple phone calls. Guys from the tree service stopped by. So I'm trying to pick up where I left off. But I'm beginning to clean up. But this was the branch that was leaning across the arcs. Um, and this was the tree. 22,000 volts is what comes through these lines. Um, to me, I think we got very, very lucky that there wasn't more significant damage. So yeah, I'll be, uh, I'll be thanking God later in prayer for that one. 
Um, there is a lot of trees down. None of them are causing any significant damage to the property. So that's wonderful news. Uh, there is one that I touched on a minute ago that's still kind of hanging right here. Let's see. It's split and it's just hanging on that tree. So eventually that's gonna fall. But I think even if it does, it shouldn't be anything too bad. Worst case is I have some third year, second year or third year chestnut trees that were planted almost below it. I'm just really hoping that it misses those. That might be the worst of that as well. All this material will be for another day, but I got all that for free from a job site. Uh, so we're going to use that to build a barn for the animals, but that's a video for another day. Today is picking up after the chaos. So I got to chop up this tree. There's a bunch of limbs, big branches all down around the building. Just me and my old girl quad and the uh, Husqvarna Rancher are going to put in some work today. At least, very least, we're going to get some uh, firewood out of that for next year. But as you can see, like, these trees, that all fell. There's another decent sized branch snapped off and fell over there. Because another good sized tree looked at least somewhat healthy that fell down. Um, luckily those are just, this is just wooded area. So, you know, that can always be cleaned up later or, you know, whatever. Uh, not a huge deal. But this one is going to have to be next on the agenda for today as well. Because it fell down right on the road. So, I'm going to get to work up there. Get that one chopped up and moved out. Then I'm gonna come down here and get this one chopped up and moved out. So, not too bad. I'll get this done today, get it cleaned up, and then I think we can count our blessings. Oh, this could have been much worse. And, uh, man, I've never seen anything like that before. Uh, I can't remember if I touched on this in the other videos, but I'll just say it now. Hold on a second. So, these bushes, these trees, like you can imagine, you can see them all right now. Like they're standing straight up and straight down, right? Well, yesterday, what happened, it happened really quickly, but me and my son were by the fire. See, there's another branch that fell out of one of these trees. We were sitting by the fire and it looked like it was about to start raining. Uh, I could see the little storm over in the distance. Check out that one. Good thing nobody was standing underneath there, huh? That's a good foot into the ground right there. <laughs> Getting paled out of one of these trees. Anyway, we were over by the fire and it started off in the distance like it wasn't a big storm you could see it was small it was only from like you know here to here and there was some thunder and lightning in it so we started to pack up a little bit of drizzle started I got my son into the vehicle then it started to really rain and I got myself into the vehicle I closed the door now this is, the, I'm telling this story because I've never seen this before and it's worth saying. My vehicle was sitting right here. I got in, I heard the wind, and I looked to the left. All these bushes, this wind picked up so fast, and I'm not exaggerating when I say it had to be 80 to 100 miles an hour. 
they were laying down all the bushes were laying down flat i couldn't even it's surreal because when you see it you're like what the hell is going on you know all the windows are up on the vehicle and you know it's windy but you know to that extent that's how hard it blew that's how fast it blew that quick these trees were bent all of them all the trees you see were bent in that direction all the bushes were laying down almost flat for a very short time but it, it happened and uh that's when i started to pull forward and that's when that tree fell onto the power line now that created a massive explosion right there like when it first happened and you know i'm i'm not a rookie i'm really familiar with what that means and you know what could be happening so we didn't want to leave the vehicle uh we didn't and then i watched it start to cook and arc and cook it took all of about two seconds for me to make the decision and we gassed it and got out of here and went flying by but the whole sky was lit up from the arcs which is amazing when you see it because you know what can happen when something like that happens it's crossing phases up here and they're not off so the it's energized the, the, it's going somewhere which means that some of it at the very least some of it if not all of it is coming down the tree and into the ground and if you're standing in the right place because there's no telling where you can or can't stand it's just it's not worth being around uh so you could die just from being close to it the only thing that could possibly save you is your tires being off the ground so there's if we were here when if we weren't in the vehicle when that went onto that line and we are you know 100 feet away which you know give or take that's where we were at 100 150 feet away just standing on the ground means you could have died you know that might sound extreme but that's the truth that's what can happen anyway we're lucky we got out of here there's minimal damage but check out the tree like it just you know blew over and I'm you know I'm not sure if there's any discoloration at the base of this you know because of the current or if that was always going to look like that but it does definitely look charred you know you can see up in here like uh like i said i mean i'm pretty certain that like if we would have been around not in the vehicle that something bad could have happened so got lucky again i guess is the best way to put that um i just wanted to do this update video because i know that there's i met some firefighters and policemen and I let them know about the channel and that this was going to be on the channel. So, uh, lastly, but firstly, thank you guys for coming out. I appreciate it. I know there's not a lot that you can do in that moment, but anybody showing up to help, I, I appreciate it. You guys made your calls and got stuff done. And when I got up here, uh, 630 this morning, that was daybreak. This was already down. It was already done and cleaned up. I met a couple gentlemen a little bit ago that just wanted to make a report about it and that's about as good as we could hope for in this situation. No major damage, nobody got hurt, and uh, it got picked up quickly. So let me get back to it. We're gonna produce some firewood. I think I'm gonna save that stump uh, just because it's kinda cool. We could be able to tell a story about it. Uh, but uh, stay tuned. We got more videos coming, hopefully not as dramatic. <laughs> uh, we got to build a barn next and it's that time of the year to get things moving. So, all right, you guys have a good day.